The frag tank is wet and last time you guys saw it, it had only been drilled. Let's go ahead and go back in time, check out what happened and how it went down. What's going on reefers? Thanks for stopping by and checking out the video. My name's Blaine, this is the King Tide Corals channel. In this week's video, we're gonna be talking about the frag tank build and all the changes and updates that have occurred over the past couple weeks now, there's a lot of things that have happened, I'm not gonna lie, so many things have changed, and I'm gonna be packing them all into this video to give you guys a well-rounded update for that build. Now, there's a couple things that I forgot to film, thought I was recording, wasn't recording, my mistake, but hey, I'm gonna update you guys on everything that's happened and all that's going on with the ZooMed Low Boy 50 gallon frag tank build. I'm really excited to jump into this video, so let's go ahead and cut right to it and check out what's going on. Here is the tank as it sits now. We're ready to go, we're drilled, we got the sump set up, and we have our overflow box pretty much all set and ready to go. I wanna add a one inch strainer kinda plug right there to add to this part of the overflow box, but overall looking pretty good. Everything's all glued up and ready to set, so let's go ahead and start filling this bad boy up, get some water in it and see how it looks. Well, the tank is holding water. The plumbing isn't leaking as of so far. We have water draining down to the sump. We're at the levels, you know, even above the levels that we need to be in the compartments. And everything seems to be pretty good back here. Um, now I just need to work on getting the return pump set up and in here, and then we'll be a running tank. For the return pump, I went with the Vectra S2 from Ecotech Marine. I'm really excited about this pump. You know, shout out to Ecotech and also shout out to Bulk Reef Supply. I'm really excited to get this into the tank. So let's go get it out of the box, see what we got inside the box, and then get this thing plumbed up and let's get this tank moving. Well, reefers, the frag tank is wet, it's salty, and it's ready to rock and roll. We got the Vectra S2 working down here, got titanium heater from Bulk Reef Supply, Inkbird backup battery I'm gonna be setting up here soon. Um, I really like the Vectra, I ended up hard plumbing it. All the plumbing's holding good, no leaks as of now. The Eclipse Overflow is doing pretty good, a little loud. Um, I do have a strainer coming for this. Uh, main drain right here so it'll be interesting to see it once it has that but um, I can have some tweaks done to it so I'm try and make it a little bit more quiet but as of now it's in the garage not a huge deal for me because it's silent from inside I can't even hear it but 
I'm really excited about this, but what I'm really excited about is we have an open section right here and we need to get some rock into this tank and get this thing seeded. So we have that Australian live rock from Unique Corals. So we're gonna go ahead and grab that out of the bucket or out of the tank, put it in a bucket, bring it out here. And let's drop it into this. The rock is all up in the tank, and there's some pretty sweet pieces. I'm really excited about them. I'm glad I could use them to seed this frag tank. It's gonna be a huge beneficial bacteria addition to this tank, so it's gonna be awesome. So big shout out to Unique Corals for some really sweet rock that they sourced. Some pretty awesome stuff growing on it, some good coral line. And I showed a little bit uh, of a picture there, but there was some really cool, like orange, possible macroalgae or something growing off of one rock there in the back. But we'll take a look at that a little bit later of the day. Several days later. Now that you guys have seen all these updates and all the things that have recently happened to the frag tank, things have changed since then as well. So we're gonna go ahead and head out, show you guys what's going on with the frag tank now some new residents in the frag tank and some things that are changing around the channel. So some fun stuff happening. Let's go ahead and head out to the garage and check out the frag tank. Oh, so much has changed, but I am so excited about how this is developing. Obviously you guys see the algae that is developing, but that's good because it's getting into its course and it's starting to really get into its stride. I haven't cleaned it since I've set it up. And so for that reason, you know, there's been some algae growth, but I'm okay with that. It's getting into its stride. I'm really excited about these pickups recently. It's a bunch of rainbow bubble tips I picked up from a local reefer. Um, the clowns now live in here to add to the bio load of the frag tank to feed the corals, the soft corals that are going to continue to grow and fill out this entire tank. But the yellow tang's really happy. The fins are growing back. He's crushing seaweed here in the clip and he's eating really good. And all is well down here below. I've added this little, you know, fan heat uh, for the uh, computer fan for the sump. Blows directly down and then it's kind of flowing into this section where the return pump is. I've also bought a big fan to have blowing over this way during the hot month of summer, but everything's looking really good. I'm super excited about this. I'm really excited to give you guys further updates, but this is how it's looking as of today and giving you guys this update as I, you know, kind of wrap up editing and get it all together. But everything's pretty good. Obviously it needs a deep clean, but here we go. The start of aquaculturing of soft corals. Thanks reefers for tuning in this week and checking out the update on the frag tank build. It's a really fun update because last time you guys seen this tank, it was only drilled. So you guys are seeing a huge update for this tank and a lot of time has passed obviously since then, but it's really good to be able to share it with you guys and I'm excited about what's gonna happen in the future for that tank. Now, also I have some big ideas, some really big ideas for the garage and hopefully I can make them come to fruition here over the course of time. I wanna say thank you to you guys staying checking this video out and watching till the end if you guys are here. It's been really fun sharing this update with you all and I look forward to the next update here soon. Until the next week guys, happy reefing.